What's up, everybody? Welcome back to all new episode of Slim the Streamer. Smash that like button and subscribe button, guys. We gotta talk about, you know, <laughs> I, I don't understand how people could just throw their lives away. I don't understand how somebody wants to spend the rest of their life the rest of their existence in prison. I don't understand how you could just want to give up on life so easily. <clears throat> An Indianapolis man was accused of killing five of his family members and an unborn child was convicted on Friday. After a five-day trial, a jury determined Raymond Childs III was guilty as charged. Childs III will be sentenced for six counts of murder, one count of attempted murder, and one count of carrying a handgun without a license on January 7th at 9 a.m. Childs III has been on trial twice now for the first the first time he his case was tried, but the court declared a mistrial. Child III is accused of killing 42-year-old Kenzie Childs, 42-year-old Raymond Childs, 18-year-old Elijah Childs, 13-year-old Rita Childs, 19-year-old Kehara Hawkins and Kehara's, and Kehara Hawkins and Hawkins' unborn child. Previous reportings indicated Kenzie and Raymond Childs were Childs' third parents. Childs the third parent, Elijah and Rita Childs were his siblings, Hawkins was his, Hawkins was Elijah's girlfriend, and then an unborn child. The Indianapolis Police Department became aware of the shooting on January 24th, <clears throat> 2021, when they were dispatched to a resident in the 300 block of East 36th Street on report of a person being shot. When the police arrived at the scene, they met a person who had suffered multiple gunshot wounds but survived the shooting, thank God. The victim advised him, advised had been shot by his brother, Raymond Child III. The victim then directed the police to the residence of the 3500 block North Adams Street. When the police entered the residence, they found the bodies of five people. Upon further investigation, the police learned Child III had gotten into a dispute with his family for coming past coming home past curfew. Let me, let me read that to you one more time in case you missed that. Upon further investigation, police learned that Child III had gotten into a dispute with his family for coming home past curfew. The argument led to Child III, who was 17 years old at the time of the shooting, to open fire on his family. Police located Child III vehicle at his girlfriend's house, and they found Child III at a family member's residence. <sighs> the girlfriend also stated that, so what happened was he was at the house, he was chilling at his girlfriend's house, and his father allegedly called him and said, hey, I guess it was past his curfew time to come on home. And, you know, I guess a little dispute happened, a little argument happened. He came, did what he did. Then he came back a few hours later to the girlfriend's house and he told the girlfriend, my family just kicked me out the house for passing, for being late past curfew. A few hours later, she got a message on her phone stating that there was a shooting in the same neighborhood and a killing. And this dude just sat there like nothing ain't happened. Like he was just chilling. Dude aired out his entire family. He was 17 years old. I remember when the story happened. He was 17 years old at the time. He murdered his entire family. All because you ran late past curfew? Now look, I know how, I know that I go in a lot 
when it comes to mental health issues. I know that I make statements on mental health issues. But this dude has some mental health issues. Yeah, that's right. I said it. This dude clearly has some serious mental issues. You got to have some mental issues if you willing to murder your entire family all because you you ran late past curfew. Now, now let me let me go ahead and say this. Despite having mental issues or not, they never declared him of having that. This dude need to get it. That's right. This dude needs to get it. No excuses, man. Now, I'm not going to say kill him. I don't want to put that out there on nobody. But, damn it, at this point, if he's, he's going to prison, he's either going to get the death penalty or they're going to do something with him. But he needs to get an ass whooping every day for the rest of his existence in prison. I need for every inmate in the cell, in the prison he going to, to whoop his ass one by one. Don't kill him. Just every every inmate, every single day, just, just whoop his ass. Just whoop his ass. Don't kill him, but whoop his ass. Hell, go, i go as far as to say this. Take his manhood away from him. Yeah, that's right. I went there, y'all. Take his manhood. I need one of them big buff. Swole dudes who got double life. <laughs> who ain't going to see the sun ever. Matter of fact, let me not put that out there. Let me not put that. I'll take that back. Don't take his manhood. That's kind of wild. Forgive me for saying that. But whoop his ass every day. This dude murdered his entire family. Everybody. It wasn't nobody he didn't like. He literally took everybody in his family out. And you know what the crazy thing was? I bet you when he was going to trial, I bet you he was wish he was wishing he can call his mama. I bet you he was wishing he can call his daddy. Yo, uh, yo, dad, yo. Oh, never mind, I forgot. Yo, yo, mama, I, I'm. I, oh yeah, I forgot. Man, little bro. Oh yeah. Little sis. Oh yeah, I forgot. This dude took out every single body in his family over nothing. There's no type, of, even if it was over something, there's no excuse. This dude need his behind whoop. Again, I'm not advocating nobody to kill him, but somebody needs to whoop him. Somebody needs to see him or whoop his ass. Like, your entire family, like, dude, like. <laughs> How, what? What? What is in your mind? What goes through your mind to want to take out your entire family? But you know, you have you have people in your family. Sadly, you have people in your family that that will do this. It's people in your family that that's hating on you right now, hating hard, mad because you got a new job, mad because you got a promotion, mad because you 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 doing well in life and they ain't. There's people in your family who hates on you all the time. And you will never know it. And it's crazy, man. You know, you expect for, you know, your homies to hate. You expect for a person, you know, that go to school with you to hate. He's 17 years old. You expect for, you know, the dude down the street to hate. But your own family member? And you going to take out your entire family member, man? Let me tell you what's going to happen. This dude's going to go to prison for the rest of his life. He's going to get the death penalty. He, like, again, he's going to get a life without parole. He's never getting out of prison, ever. That's over with. He's never getting out. He may have a rough time in jail because where he's going, he's going to maximum security prison. He's going to big dog jail. And let me tell you something about big dog jail. They don't care nothing about your mommy yeah, daddy, the 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 warden don't care nothing about you. Yeah, the the COs don't care nothing about you. I don't care if you go to PC. If you PC up, they can still get you in PC. You're about he's about to enter into a whole different realm. Cause these people in prison ain't gonna care nothing about them. 
See, this is what I was talking about, guys. You out here doing these petty crimes, you out here doing crimes, you're going to end up with a cellmate just like this. You will never expect this dude to have five family members. He took out five family members. Five family. And what kills me, no pun intended, what kills me at this, what, what gets me with these type of dudes who go out here and air out everybody, they go out here and shoot, they go out here and do all this crazy violent, violent crime that they know they're guilty of. But then, and I get it, everybody's, everybody's due process. But they fight so hard to want to get out of the situation. But it's like, dude, why would you put yourself in that situation? Don't put yourself in that situation so you won't have to fight as hard to get out of that situation knowing you ain't going to get out. I'm surprised he, like seriously, I'm surprised he ain't plead guilty. What, how would you thought was going to happen? <laughs> what? So what type of lawyer he had? Lawyer must have just trying to get a check because if I was his lawyer, knowing he did it, I'd be like, bro, why are we wasting my time? Bro, you know you did it. I know you did it. Just go ahead and plead guilty and go, ain't no need to have a jury for this. You know you did it. <laughs> this dude is going to have a hard time in prison. He's going to be eating that nasty behind prison food. Every day, he's going to be in the cell with the most violent, evilest people that walk the earth. He's going to have, the, he's got to go into them showers. He's going, his life changed once he pulled that trigger. See, this is why I say don't kill him. One, I'm not, I'm not going to wish death for nobody. No matter what they done, I'm not going to wish death for nobody. I look at it like this. I will want you to suffer every day. I will want you to suffer every single day that you're living. Unless you take your own self out, then that's different. But you're going to suffer. Every single day you in that jail cell, you're going to suffer, suffer, suffer. I wished every day in prison for this dude is harder than the next. I wish every moment, I wish he get up in that prison and I wish the fear of God gets in him. I wish when he go to prison, he gets to shake it and he gets to looking around. He gets nervous. His butt gets to clenching. I, I just wish, I hope and pray every day he's living in that jail cell, it is hell for him. I pray it's hell for him. Because he gave his family hell. And I wish and pray every day it's going to be hell for him. As long as he's living for the rest of his life, he will have, oh, I pray he have a hard day every single day in prison. I pray he get his ass whooped. I'm going to go ahead and say it, not to kill him, but I pray he just do. I, yeah. See, this is why I can't be a CO. This is why I can't work in the prison. Because if I see some, a dude like this, man, <laughs> this is why I can't do it. Because I, man, ain't no way. How, like, I, man, it's no way. It's no way. Hey, man, RIP to the family. Prayers up to the family member that survived. God, may God, rest, may God bless him and Lord have mercy, man. I, I, the trauma he's going to deal with for the rest of his life because his whole entire family is gone all by his own family member, man. <sighs> these YNs, <laughs> these young, these young N-words. See, mental illness, mental, mental health, mental illness is not an excuse because, well, first of all, you're black. He's black. So it, it, they ain't about that whole mental illness. I don't know why they came up with that. That whole mental illness thing ain't, you know, he black. It don't work for any black. You know, maybe you may find one or two that'll work for, but nah. Um, you remember the Andrea Yates lady, right? Yeah, yeah, some of y'all probably don't remember Andrea Yates. She 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 took out her entire family, her kids, like years ago, a long time ago, 
in her like early and mid 2000s. She took out her entire kids, drowned them in a bathtub. And she said, she said out of her own mouth, God told her to do that. And she pleaded mental mental illness, and she served the rest of her life in a mental home. So uh, she should have went to prison, in my in my opinion. She should have went to prison and got the same treatment. But hey, it is what it is. It's the justice system. What are you gonna do? Um. But hey, man, and nothing else to see here. It's your boy Slim the Streamer. Smash that like button, subscribe button. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.